Another beautiful snowy day in Caledon Hills, Ontario. And these horses just love it. So does Tracy, trainer and manager for Coffee Creek Farms, breeders of Rocky Mountain and Kentucky Mountain horses. They're very smooth to ride. They move differently than trotting horses. Their gait is very similar to your walk. The majority of the people buying these horses in Canada right now um, are people that want safe, quiet, easy, manageable horses. But not all of Tracy's horses are such easy keepers. Meet Eden, a troubled young Rocky Mountain who's inherited a profound fear of humans from his mother. For him, being around people is incredibly stressful. So Tracy has called in an expert. Richard Thompson. A man who has the gift of a gentle touch. A man known as a horse whisperer. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Richard. Nice Hi, to see you again. You Thanks Good for coming you. out. What I practice is uh, natural horsemanship. And it's a system of persuading a horse to perform for us instead of the traditional breaking a horse. Good afternoon, Eden. The old cowboys just jumped on. They weathered the storm till the horse got stopped, and then they started to train them. Time and time again, I see people get on the horse, and boom, the horse is forgotten. You know, they're not paying attention to what's going on within the animal, how the animal's feeling, what it's thinking, why it's reacting the way it is. Horses are prey animals, and their security is in their flight and being able to move and be free to move. Natural horsemanship means that you understand that the horse is a prey animal. And we are predators, and they perceive us to be predators. So instead of breaking Eden, Richard works him with a system of blocks and pressures, the first steps in building a bond between man and horse. I want him to know that he can still save his life even though something spooky is happening. And uh, look at it there. That's what I wanted him to do. And I stepped back away from him and that's his reward for doing the right thing. Eden appears to sense the gentleness almost immediately, that Richard may not be a threat and may in fact be a friend. And every, there. One of the axioms of natural horsemanship is we ask, they respond, we stop asking, they learn. The flight zone's getting smaller and smaller because I'm in here close. In only a half an hour, Eden's fear of humans is replaced by trust, the foundation for his becoming a great saddle horse. And he's really reaching, he's really trying hard. I mean, he's just doing fabulous here. We're just doing a little breathing here together. When I first got here, uh, Eden thought I was a predator, and of course he was saving his life and running. And when we got through, he wanted to be with me because he knew I'd take care of him, and he was following me around. See, he turned to be with me. He had the whole round pin to run off. I mean, why act for like a predator, you know, when you could be a peer, you know, be a, a herd mate, be a companion? Why, why be a predator? Oh, we're herd mates, you bet. It's been an awakening for me. Um, for the horse and myself, really. Um, I've seen how much happier they can be, um, how much easier their life can be, and it, it, it's now my focus to making their life easier. I think it went great. I think it went really well. I think he learned a lot, and I learned a lot, and I learned a lot about what I can do to help him. I think he's got a better idea what humans are about, that they're not all bad and that he can really enjoy them. I mean, he's going to be a good horse. I mean, all horses want to do this. It's their choice. They'd a lot rather have a good relationship with a human being than not. As for Richard, the bond he's just formed with Eden reflects a deep gratitude he has for all horses. You know, when I grew up in Wyoming, uh, I grew up in the old style of, of uh, making horses do what we need them to do, being a tool. But I had some experiences uh, that were life and death situations where my horses saved my life. You know. 
And I figure I owe horses a lot for that. Uh, I'd like to see them always treated kindly. Uh, uh, I'd like the people to recognize when a horse is trying for all it's worth, it can't do any more than that. 